So this is my 1991 Schwinn Series 90. I built it up just over a year ago now with a full range of Shimano Dior XT and it looks amazing. It's probably one of my favourite bikes to look at. The purple pearlescent Tungay Prestige frame pops against the black components and it's just as great to ride as it looks. Over the last year though, I've been on the lookout for the original Suntour XC Pro gear. You might have noticed the Suntour shifters and crank set now on the bike. Today though, I'm leaving that idea behind somewhat and giving the bike a bit of an upgrade. The Suntour parts will stay in my head for now, but you can't go wrong with the upgrades I've got lined up for today. So sit back and enjoy this video and let me know what you think at the end.
to doink. Doink. Do we do we do? What are you? one first. Up. Now that's when we can put that thing there, that thing there. Over there. For those wondering, the Maguras come apart like that. And so in theory, you should be able to grab your wheel, 
and hopefully slot it in. My tire is a little bit fat. And I'll put it on the wrong direction. Oh, that is a. Uh, <laughs> I might need a smaller tire. It goes on there, and then that locks in place. Here's the thing. I know I've only recently polished up this and need to polish up again, as they always do when you polish them up. But I've got this Middleburn RS3 in purple. Here are the purple hubs and the purple frame. Is that too much purple? I don't know. Oh, is it? The outer ring's a little bit faded. Hmm. Let me know what you think. So what do you think? A few little upgrades to it. I'd already done shifters, to be honest, and uh, the crank set, but I think I might change that crank set for the middle burn. Just let me know what you think about that. Um, but yeah, built some new wheels. Hope TI hubs, purple, uncracked, perfect. <laughs> um, with some DT Swiss purple hubs some Sapim black stainless double butted spokes and uh, Halo Whiteland rims yeah, built them up running nicely that front wheel, front tyre I've just adjusted the rim ever so slightly and it just fits in there just, it's very tight Magura's probably need a little bit of alignment but they're working nicely and um, as I was rudely cut off by the battery dying then. Um, yeah, just switched out the front derailleur for the Suntour XC Pro and the rear derailleur for the XTR because I haven't done the XC Pro one yet. Like I said, I do have the <laughs> XC Pro one here, but it is in pieces and it is very, very battered. I need to probably take off that coating, polish it up and respray the black. Um, yeah, it's going to get done, and then that will probably go on the bike too. And just like that, my third and final battery died. So I took the bike for a little spin, um, trying to get that daily ride in. And yeah, it's so smooth riding. I love it. Um, I need to use this bike more. I'll take it over Canic and see how it goes. But I do need to tweak those Maguras just a little bit. Need to read up on those. Anyway. Hope you've enjoyed this video, upgrading the Schwinn. Let me know what you think about that middle bone crank set, but I do think I'm going to stick it on there. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Look forward to the next one, and I'll see you there.